Hello folks, welcome back to the Video Gadgets Journal and in this video we're revisiting the topic of black spaces and bars on your videos after you've finished an iOS screen recording. Case in point, if I take a portrait screen recording of something and play it back or upload it to YouTube, what we're going to find is black bars on either side. Much more pronounced in portrait videos, but it also happens in landscape videos as well, especially on iPads, because the aspect ratio doesn't match the video that you're uploading to YouTube. Now, in a previous video, I did show you a solution where we used an application called InShot to blur the background, but unfortunately, that put a watermark on your video as well. So this solution is gonna take that problem away as well. Now, a couple of people suggested this application, so I'm going to put their comments in the top right-hand corner there as a thank you. Uh, the application you want is Filmora Go. Now, the weird thing is, if you search for this on the App Store, it doesn't appear, or at least it doesn't appear for me. So I will leave a direct link in the video description. And when you install it, there might not be an icon for it either, which is a bit weird as well. But anyway, let's go into the application and show you how to do the fix. Once you've downloaded the application, you can open Filmora Go and it will give you this kind of nice background. It is an iPhone application as well, so you may need to maximize it if it is on an iPad. Create a new video and then take your screen recording from your camera roll and tap add. Then tap back and then you should be able to tap next to go to the actual editing of the video. These are the important steps that you need to follow. On the right hand side here, scroll down until you see the option which is ratio and crop. This will bring options on the left hand side. You want to make sure that you keep it by 16 by 9 and tap on cut sides. And what that will simply do is add the blur effect while keeping the portrait video nicely in shape with the video. And if I tap play now, you should be able to see that the blur background is perfectly in sync with the video that's playing in the foreground. And that's pretty much all you need to do, a very simple solution. Once you've finished the background effect and done any more edits that you want to do to the video, you can tap on the save button and that will start the export process. This also has the added benefit of fixing the glitches in your air show recordings. If I've spoken about this many times before, if you try and edit raw air show recordings, you get lots of glitches and it's very difficult to use. So you always have to import the air show video into a video editor and then export it so that the video is re-encoded and a much more friendly format to be used for editing. So we'll just give it a few seconds and we'll get back to the final completed video render. So once the rendering is complete, you can tap on save to camera roll and that should effectively have a duplicate copy of the video, which we can now go to in our photos. So we have the original recording there, but you can also see the new recording here, which has the blur effect in the background, and that should all work perfectly. And just to remind you, there will be a black spaces at the top of the bot and the bottom on an iPad because it's not the right aspect, aspect ratio, but once you upload it to YouTube, it should look absolutely fine. And what you should be seeing on screen right now is the direct recording, which I've copied to my PC editor to show you just what it looks like, and it's all fantastic. So. As of now, I don't think there are any more reasons to investigate this area. We can put this blur effect in the background. There's also overlays, which I've already showed you how to do. So yeah, we'll leave it at there on the solution on how to get rid of black spaces and bars on your screen recordings. If you do have any more questions, by all means, pop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Otherwise, you know the drill, guys. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.